Hey baby, how's the pool? Hey baby, how's the water? Uh, hey guys, uh, hey baby, how's the how's the, hey baby, how's the water? Hey baby, how's the water? It's perfect. It's like 80 degrees. You gotta get in and chill. It's perfect. Hey guys, uh, we're about to make a video. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna call it. Dueling breakfast smash sandwiches, smash burgers, uh, whatever you want to call it, guys. It, mine's the ultimate breakfast sandwich. It, it mine's the more A A plus ultimate best breakfast sandwich. Okay, mine is. The ultimate sassy breakfast sandwich. Okay, so you guys see what we're getting at here. <laughs> we want you to watch this video and then go over to the uh, community tab on our page. There's going to be a poll there. You get to vote on uh, who's got the better sandwich, guys. Me or my other crew member here. Uh, oh, sassy. Sassy. And uh, be e sure... Excuse me, crew member? Yeah, well, you're the lead gaffer. That's the last time I be your camera girl. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the video and be sure to vote. Okay, I'm new at this camera thing, so bear with me. I am operating this all by myself. Um, okay, here we go. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. I am the Sussy Kitchen Queen, and today I'm going to be cooking a quick side dish. But first, I'd like to thank all our veterans in this whole country who serve. We honor you today. If you haven't thanked a veteran today, thank them. They are worthy of it. My heart goes out to all the taken, the ones who are presently serving, and all the retired veterans, like mine. This morning we are cooking up a delicious breakfast smash burger. It's gonna be tasty, delicious, succulent, and all that stuff. Sandwich. Right now, we're probably camping, so we filmed this a few days in advance uh, so that we can pack out and go camping. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this breakfast smash sandwich, it's not really a burger because we're not using buns. If we did, we'd use brioche buns, but we're not. So we're using English muffins. So really, it's a breakfast sandwich, but we're doing it in a smash burger way. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> So what we're gonna be doing here is taking some 80-20 ground beef and some Jimmy Dean sausage that's been, it's not in the casing. And we're gonna mix those up about 50-50, really loosely guys, and then we're gonna season it up. So let's get started on that. Okay, I'm back. We're going to make some delicious golden brown hash browns with a few simple ingredients. I'm using two potatoes. I'm using about a quarter cup of instant mashed potato mix instead of flour. I'm using one egg. I've got some avocado oil in my pan, warming up already. And we're going to use Grillaholics SPG with butter. Check it out, folks. If you haven't tried this, you might want to get some. It's good stuff. All right guys, here, uh, so this is what we're working with. Again, the uh, ground beef, the Jimmy Dean sausage. So we're gonna really season these very lightly, but what we're gonna use are, is this Grillaholics SPG, guys. Really nice uh, all-purpose kind of seasoning here. Shake it up a little bit, because it does settle. Wanna point out those ingredients. They're pretty much all natural. There's no sugar added. Uh, it's really good stuff, guys. And be sure to check the links down in the description and get 20% off of this stuff and anything at the Grillaholics website. Uh, use discount code GREENHORN when checking out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here pretty generously. This is all the seasoning that I'm gonna give it, so that's probably about a half a teaspoon there. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. Just about like that. So I'm probably gonna do is use about a four ounce uh, ball here, uh, guys. Something about like that. All right, guys, I got this idea from uh, Ballistic Burger uh, and the SNS Grills uh, channel uh, for a kind of a really simple breakfast sauce. Okay, so I, I took some uh, mayo and then some maple syrup, kind of mix it in there like that. And by the way, this is a Canadian maple syrup, probably the best. And then we just give that a really good mix. Okay, it's gonna really bring in a lot of those traditional breakfast flavors. And uh, I'm gonna give this a shot. Gives a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of richness to it. 
And we're gonna be putting this on the English muffins. There we go. Okay, folks, here are our ingredients. I went ahead and I shredded the potatoes. Here's our egg. Here's our uh, mashed uh, potato powder, instant mashed potatoes here. I used a, a, a roasted garlic one. Now you can use this in place of flour, cornstarch, or any other thickener. Um, I'm going to add a little extra pepper because I like the pepper. So, and then over here on the right, you can't see it, but I've got some oil heating up here for the hash browns. So let's go ahead and put our ingredients in. Then our egg. And now we're going to put some sprinkles of this yummy stuff. All right, and we mix. I would say this is pretty mixed up. So I'm going to start by grilling some bacon. I cut them in half short because I don't want them laying over the burger too much or the sandwich. Uh, then I'm going to be toasting these buns with a little bit of butter, room temperature button, butter. Really important to get that toasty bun, guys. I am the Sassy Kitchen Queen. Uh, before we... It, I, ah! Some of the other ingredients we have are some fresh avocados off of our avocado tree. And of course, you're going to need one egg uh, on this recipe. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll get that bacon going. All right, guys, while that bacon's going, I'm going to put a decent amount of butter on the bun here. Really important to butter the buns, guys. This is the perfect size hash brown for a delicious breakfast sandwich. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just uh, make three of these. Okay, well maybe we could scooch these over and we'll put a fourth one in there. How about that? I haven't made hash browns in forever. Okay, checking these buns. They're looking pretty good, guys. Looking really good. Okay, I'm just going to let them toast a little bit more. These English muffins can really take some good toasting. All right, guys, go ahead and put on my about four ounce each uh, sliders here. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to take one of these, one of these little um, lids for a uh, canning thing. You guys have seen these before. Spray a little duck fat on there. in there, press down a little bit until it sets up. Okay, now what helps out with this, you guys have seen me use the wax paper before, but heat up your spatula and then just give it a nice press. There you go. That's how you want your bun to start looking. Okay guys, again, I've already seasoned these patties. Don't need anything more. Ah, look at that guys. That is flavor right there. All right guys, I want that yolk to be just a little runny, so I'm just gonna set this up here. All right. We're gonna put one of these beautiful golden brown hash browns on the bottom. Then we're gonna put the patty on top. Then we're going to put this cheese on the top. I mean this bacon <laughs> on top of the cheese. And then I'm gonna bring my egg over and plant it right on top. Perfect. And then no avocado. Uh, no avocado. And then we squish. We are going to use Uncle Steve's knife here 
to cut into this beauty. Oh yeah. Wow, this cut's nice. I love it. Thank you, Uncle Steve. Look at that. Perfection. Layer of hash browns. Cooked sausage. Some delicious Munster cheese. I like Munster cheese on my breakfast sandwiches. And a perfectly cooked egg. A little runny, not too runny. And some bacon. Let's take a bite. All right, guys, it's time to build this thing. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here we go. Got the buns. Now I'm going to hit it with some of that breakfast mayo that I made. First bun. And why not? A little bit more on the top there. I'm going to layer this with a little bit of these bacon. Look at that. Boom. One more piece. Mm. A little bit more bacon on there. Greg. And then fresh from our tree. A few of these slices of avocado, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, guys. There we go. All right, look at that. Oh, mm. bacon. Uh. Mr. Greenhorn missed my shot. We'll take another bite. Mmm. Delicious. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you like my recipe for the hash browns. Easy and quick to make. Um, they're perfect complement to any breakfast. Breakfast sandwich with just bacon and eggs, um, pancakes, whatever you want. Easy. Thank a veteran today. Stay safe, everyone, and thank you for joining me this morning. Mm, all right, guys. Uh, I was going to cut this in half for you, but you know what? The revolution will not be televised. Mmm. Mmm. That sausage isn't overpowering. Bacon is just right. Just a hint of that maple syrup in the mayo there. And of course, avocados, guys. Oh my God. All right, guys, there you go. A really easy, quick to make breakfast sandwich, AKA breakfast smash burger. Um, hey, I don't, I don't believe in rules. If it ain't got a bun, you can't call it a burger. Eh, who cares? Man, it was good. Now, I didn't put it together very well, kind of fell apart, but uh, hey, you know what? Uh, I could put it back together as it's falling apart and it's still going down the old hatch, so it was delicious. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up and comment down below what you think. And again, for all the warriors, past and present, happy Memorial Day, guys. Uh, it is a time for remembrance, and uh, thank you for serving. <laughs>